Well, they were once Baltimore's top power couple, former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby and council president Nick Mosby. But word tonight that the Mosbys are calling it quits in their marriage. Thanks for joining us. I'm Maxine Stryker. And I'm Kai Jackson. This news comes as we get closer to the federal trial of former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby. Mosby is facing four federal charges stemming from her purchase of two vacation homes in Florida. Nick Mosby isn't facing any charges and is running for re-election. Today we learned of their plans to split. Keith Daniels has a copy of their court filing. And Keith, what are you learning tonight? Well, Maxine, it's only two pages, only two pages, but the former city state's attorney is making her point. And tonight, it's another matter for the Mosby's. Once regarded as Baltimore's power couple, embattled former city state's attorney Marilyn Mosby files to end her marriage with city council president Nick Mosby. Her lawyer submitting the paperwork at Baltimore Circuit Court Friday morning. According to the two-page court complaint obtained by Fox 45 News, Marilyn Mosby is seeking a limited divorce, joint child custody, and other financial relief. Under Maryland law, a limited divorce is the state's version of a legal separation, allowing spouses to settle issues like dividing assets and to establish child custody terms. The divorce comes during a busy, even turbulent time for the Mosby family. So this is a very complicated dynamic you have here. Incumbent Nick Mosby battling Councilman Z. Cohen for his seat as city council president. And later this year, Marilyn Mosby set to stand trial on federal charges linked to an alleged mortgage fraud and perjury, a case in which her husband is not charged, but has come under scrutiny for his potential financial involvement in the case. Dr. Richard Vatz. So it's a very complicated matter. Professor of political rhetoric at Towson University on what role the couple's latest development could play in another Mosby matter. You have somebody who potentially could testify against Marilyn Mosby in a very material way. On the other hand, he has to be careful that he doesn't irritate her too much because he's going to be involved in divorce proceedings. I think it's a story because of the intertwining of her trial and a divorce proceeding. What does that motivate him to say or not to say? That's the critical question. Well, the couple have two daughters, 12 and 14 years old. Now, in a statement released from Mr. Mosby's office, he said their dedication to their family and community remain unwavering. We're live tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. Okay, thank you. The defense team for the former city state's attorney wants separate trials for the charges that she faces. Her lawyers say a combined trial on the perjury and mortgage fraud accusations would, quote, confound the jury and could lead to improper convictions. Jury selection for her trial is set to begin October 31st. Fox 45 News will bring you updates as we near Mosby's federal trial. You can get the latest on air and online at foxbaltimore.com. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.